People have been waiting anxiously to know if there was going to be something, a sequel to Waiting to Exhale, and so here we are, getting to happy. What happened in your life or in these women's lives that you felt like it was time to, to see what's happened 15 years after? Well, it wasn't what happened to them. It was due to what happened to me. I had no intention of writing a sequel. After my divorce, I was really bitter and angry, and I started meeting a lot of other women in my age group, mid-40s to late-50s, who were just sad. And so in trying to explore what it might take for us to get back to happy, so to speak. I just came up with four different scenarios that I know a lot of women have to deal with. I realized that I'd already told a story with four female protagonists. And then I realized that those women were the perfect candidates for this story. When I'll be 21 on my next birthday, so that makes me 22. When you are? 40. When people read Stella, got her groove back, they thought that was your experience, but then you shared, you know, that deception. So it's interesting because that you, you talk about you were, you were in a place, you were upset, your husband wasn't what you thought he was. Why is it you made a decision? I'm going to do a continuation of these women's lives as opposed to write specifically about what happened to me. Even telling the story of Stella, only about 90, about 95 percent of that did not happen. But I was compelled to tell the story. And I knew to some extent that nothing is promised when he decided to tell me what he thought he was. And I said, I know what thinking means. And then, of course, all the other ugly stuff started coming out. When you've been deceived, when you've been lied to, and someone that you trusted, I don't care who they are, when it happens, you don't care. You're just angry. At what point did you say, you know what, I'm tired of being mad? I was swearing a lot. I was grinding my teeth. And it was not who I was. And it just started dawning on me how much energy it takes to be angry. I have since forgiven my ex-husband, and um, we are f actually friends now. I don't think you allow your past to destroy your present, even in writing this book. You know what? Hold up a minute here. I deserve to be happy. I deserve to have some joy in my life. In this story, I wanted to try to dramatize what happens when you do and when you don't rely on someone else for all of your happiness. It sounds as though you've sprinkled your life, your experiences into all of these women's lives in some capacity. I take observations and personalize them through my characters and it doesn't mean that it had to have happened to me, but when I write it through these characters, through their eyes and through their hearts, it feels like it did. Is this likely to be a movie? Well, 20th Century Fox bought the movie rights about five months ago before it was actually a book. And before you ask, three of the four women seem to be very, very interested in reprising their roles. And we are praying and hoping that Whitney will too. So to, to kind of um, summarize with these women, Savannah, you know, she's kind of the first character you tackle. What's the breaking point for Savannah? How does she get to this point or in this journey of getting to happy? She just discovered something about his behavior that I think sort of angered her. Not anything that was as deep as finding out that your husband's gay. And she just decides to take a risk on herself and, and take a risk on even going solo. But she is not nor have I given up on love or men. Gloria? Gloria just, she has experienced a different kind of a loss that I don't want to say. She has to go through her own form of grief and just start to begin to heal her life. And Bernadine? She has forgiven her first ex-husband for the way he treated her. They are actually friends in this story. But Bernadine has had an experience that has made her bitter. And so she has to learn a lot of things in terms of forgiving herself and forgiving other people. And Robin? Robin tried to be a good single parent and her attitude is that you should look for a man the same way you do a good pair of black pumps. Keep trying them on until you find the one that fits. <laughs> and so these women are now breathing. I would like to think they are. Yes. Not just exhaling, but they're no, breathing. No, because you, you can exhale more than once. <laughs>